welcome back to Hostile GeForce and my little OBS tutorials. Um, just gonna tell you guys as much as I know about OBS as quickly as possible, so you guys can you know get streaming. So right now I've got I'm gonna go over uh, overlays, game capture, stuff like that, just really quickly. Um, to add a scene or sources, as many as you know, uh, all you do is right click, and you can add a scene. You can change the order, whatever. Then with over here, this is how you add um, your different sort, like things that you want to capture. So scenes is like if you change, you know, if you click to one of these, it's gonna try and it's gonna change the order and what things you're gonna be capturing and stuff like that. So, so over here, I'm just gonna add Minecraft right now. So I'm just gonna show you, you know, how to capture a game ca game source. Um, this left big that you're seeing here is a monitor capture. Don't use monitor capture. It's really your last resort. It will capture everything that's on your screen, but it's also super, super intensive on your computer, and you'll get like flickering cursors and stuff like that. And it's just annoying. Um, so as much as you can, use um, game capture or window capture. Game capture obviously is made for games, and window capture is what you would use normally for you know, if you want to show people Imgur because Imgur OP. Um, if you can also though use window capture for games uh, and I usually have a window capture of whatever game I'm streaming as a backup in case my game capture option decides to put out because you know no no programs perfect in it and you know a free program even though I personally believe this is the best broadcasting software available um, it's still free and still has bugs. So yeah, so game capture, name it whatever you want, just for you to keep track of it. And in here, you should see your game here. And fantastic. We hit OK. Boom. There's our game. It's fabulous. Um, to change the order, you can. I'll show you. I'll, I'll move this bad boy up for you. To change the order of the windows, you can quite simply right click here and say position and select one of these guys or you can just hold down control and hit one of the arrow keys. Um, I'm going to make this smaller so you guys can get more of an idea of what exactly I'm doing and make this guy bigger. So here we go. Hopefully that doesn't make you guys too nauseous. It's pretty brutal. Um, Okay, so we got Minecraft, chill in the background, kind of give you the general sense of what's going on, and yeah. So we want to put an overlay on top of Minecraft because it is fantastic, and we're just going to go in here, give you a little sneak peek of what I plan to be adding to the Concealed Gaming server once that goes live, but yeah, we're, so we're going to have that open, just so you guys can see that. Use it as reference. Now, we come back over to here, we right click, we hit click add, and image. So this is how you would get an overlay. You know, overlay. Fantastic. You just hit browse, you go to find whatever whatever you're wanting to use as an overlay. Um, I made quite a few, so I'm just gonna use our Minecraft one. Woo! And I'm gonna use the newest one, because it's pretty. I hit OK. And now I made these to be 19, uh, 1080, 1920 by 1080, so it should fill up exactly perfectly the window that I want to use. Um, now, the only thing is, Minecraft is bigger than the window. Also, if the overlay is bigger, you might have to like grab it, size it down, drag it over, you know, what ha what have you. But right now, Minecraft is bigger than the where I set it up to the like that line right there. A little dinky pink line and the darker lines up here it's too big so how to move things around when you click edit scene you know it brings up this and whatever you have selected it's gonna put this little red box around it and it's fantastic the only thing that isn't fantastic is that snapping tool right there because it can be a pain in the butt but <laughs> but but it's not the worst thing in the world so keep on making this bigger it a little bit better. All right. 
Now, we want Minecraft to be just inside these board boundaries. And as you can see on these red lines, that's that's where you know we want it to be. So we have like I don't know, say I think it's like 32 pixels on each side. So I'm gonna just oh, try and grab it and bring it in, not just to like that line. And it's gonna be a pain because that snapping feature I told you earlier. I'm going to bring it in just a little bit more for the other side as well. And then you can just go ahead and use your arrow keys on your keyboard to move it over. Now, Minecraft, most, most games don't do this, but Minecraft, you kind of get this little black line above and below uh, if you're not recording in full screen. Um, no, it's, it's just a little bit of a bother, but for mine you know I can just I made this overlay so that I can just move it down a little bit and boom now the whole game is right there it's all nice and pretty high fives all around GG okay so now if you wanted to add say you know uh, scrolling text that's an image we want that Scrolling text. And this is general for you know any text. You can you can use whatever you want. Um, so the default is Arial 48, um, and it will you won't see it come up until you hit OK for the first time. And after that, every time that you get back in here to edit it, you'll see it update as you're typing and stuff like that. But, so, boom, not scrolling. That is not pink either. That's because I did background. Good job, Garrett. Good job. Only that was the first time I've done that. All right, so it's not scrolling. You know, you can move it around and it should, it maintains the same, um, the same proportions if you make it bigger or smaller, but as you see, it'll kind of start to pixelate. If you come in here and Increase this, increase the size. It'll actually, you know, not pixelate as much. Fantastic. Not so pixely. Now it's all nice and pretty. Look at that prettiness. But as it says, it's not scrolling. So let's fix that. How to make scrolling text? Very simple. Scroll speed. Turn it up a bit. Now most of mine are at 15, 15 to 20 for like my music. That way you guys can actually read it. It's not like you know, speeding along, going, holy shit, it's a freaking disco. Um, but yeah, let me set that down. Cool. Awesome possum. Now it's scrolling. Scrolling. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to change the size because it had less to actually do. If you wanted to add more, you wanted to add gaps. You put spaces in, and it kind of gets a gap in it, or whatever. You can be one of those cool people with those, and whatever. That's how you do it. Okay, so now we got scrolling text because we're cool like that. And now we want to add a GIF. Like I said before, GIFs are pretty easy to. Uh, I don't know if I said it earlier, but yeah, this is how you do a GIF. Go into images, you browse for it. We have a beautiful GIF given to us by our sponsor MP Serve that I can show you guys. Literally, that's all you do. And look at that. It is now a fully functioning GIF. Fantastic. Thank you, OBS, for being fantastic. Now, now you have Minecraft set up. If you wanted to add a camera, all you would do is go to video capture device and hit OK. And boom. Now, I don't want you guys to see my ugly face right now, so I'm not going to do that, but it follows the same general idea. So, hot tips or DLDR, you select one of these guys, makes a little binding box. You want to beware of the edge snapping, so you want to compensate and then use your arrows to actually move it into place and that kind of cool stuff. Um, 
if you say wanted to, if you're using a scrober or a, um, you know, you're stealing your, well not stealing, but you're getting, getting your music information from say now playing or um, some sort of web scrober. What you'd want to do is you'd want to come down to here and say you use text from file and browse for it. Now mine is in a fairly random obscure place, but have no fear. Um, actually, it's not too bad, but yep, I don't use exploit anymore, so I have a better one. And it literally just puts it into a text document, and there you go. See, I was losing Led Zeppelin last. Because Led Zeppelin rules. Yeah. You can either use inputted text or one from here. And so if you have some sort of program that puts out a text uh, .txt file or something like that, um, as long as it, you know, UTF-8 or compatible, it will grab it. Um, but yeah, that's how you do that. Let's see, anything else? I think that's pretty good. I think, and then global sources, you can add global sources and that way you can just go ahead and grab them from a list. Say you're making scenes on the fly all the time and you can add those global sources so that it kind of saves them in a little bank. That way you don't have to go in here. You don't have to like say if I had for Minecraft some sort of you know weird gamma that I wanted to use. Um, or I didn't always want to say capture mouse, like uncheck the capture mouse cursor. That That's how you do it. It, it just saves it for you because it's cool like that. But yeah, that's how you do it. Um, I saw Style GeForce making little tutorials. Be sure to check out my Twitch streams, my YouTube. Please uh, like and subscribe and all that shenanigans. And have a good day. See you guys later.